I'm going to encourage you to pray in the Holy Ghost. As we heard learned last Wednesday night, be accurate with it. Tell, ask the Holy Spirit exactly what to pray for. To tell Him exactly what you're going to need Him to intercede on your behalf. And as we learn, super intercede on your behalf. Yes. So I encourage you right now, let's just pray in the Spirit for a little while. Bless God. Bless you, Father. And they shed in the Speak to 
us, Lord. Holy Spirit, we ask that you will continue to convict them of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. I thank you that you're turning the hearts of men and women and families to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you for all you've done, Father, for all you're doing. We shout grace, grace over the people of greater love. All of our uh, Facebook, online family, we shout grace, grace over your house. In the name of Jesus. And we give you all the glory. It's in Jesus' name we all pray. Amen. 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 Bless God. Let's get into the word. Bless me, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Thank you, Father. I was praying in the Holy Spirit. Tell my people to increase their hunger. Increase their hunger. And there are many things trying to distract and weigh down and to remove your hunger from you. And I encourage everyone listening in here and online, increase your hunger for the things of God. Mm -hmm. The enemy has this tra trap of trying to convince people that what they need is outside of God, is outside of Christ. Mm -hmm. So they start pursuing things outside of Christ. And when you're pursuing things, the, 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 the cause of de decrease in hunger is you're pursuing things outside of Christ. Because when I acknowledge everything I need is in Christ, and no way I'm going to uh, decrease my hunger. Everything I need is in him. My pursuit of him. That's what we sing the song tonight. I'm chasing after you. And that's what we sing the song tonight. My God, this is the air I breathe. Your holy presence was living in me. I'm desperate for you. I'm lost without you. Why? Because everything I need is in you. If I start thinking and believing that something I need is outside of Christ, it's going to cause me to, 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 to ease up. Second mm. Corinthians 5 verse 17. All right, on Sunday we began discussing a glorious church. A glory. Let me start my time here. A glorious church that God desires and has, has ordained and, 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 and called the church to be what? Glorious. <laughs> my God. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Bless God. Give me the Amplified of that, my sisters. Amplified says, Now, if anyone is enfolded into Christ, I love that. If anyone is enfolded into Christ, he has become an entirely here new creation. That's a passage translation. It's all good. Give me Amplified of that. Amplified. Amplified says, Therefore, if any person is engrafting Christ the Messiah, he is a new creation, a new creature here all together. The old previous more and spiritual condition has passed away. Behold, the fresh and the new has come. We are here at the new creation. Yes. We are here at the church. We are the body of Christ. We are the temple of the Holy Ghost, my Lord. We are wall to wall with the Holy Spirit. God has moved on the inside of each and every one of us. Paul said, what? Know you not that you are the temple of the Holy Ghost and the Spirit of God dwells on the inside of you? Yes. My God, if we believe that, yes. my God. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> that the same Spirit that raised Jesus up from the dead Resurrection power is now in us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 1.23 We must begin uh, realizing that we're the glorious church. Yeah. And this stuff we got right now, we got to get it back to preaching the gospel, man. Yeah. Again, right. tweak that a little bit. Come back a minute. Yeah. A lot of this stuff going on, a lot of these teachings in the earth again, it's not the gospel. It's 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 it sounds good, it's more to motivate you, but it's not the gospel. It's only the gospel that reveals who you 
that you are here, the new creation. The church. Ephesians 1, 23 in the message. The church. You see? <laughs> it's not peripheral to the world. When did this thing get twisted? When did we start looking to the world for answers? When we start looking to them for solutions? No. He said the world is peripheral to the church. They still be looking to the church. They should be seeing what a glorious church. The answer should be in the church. Mark, the healing is in the church. The provisions is in the church. Well, pastors don't seem like the government can do what they, they, what they can't take care of people. They were never designed to. All of these things are supposed to be manifesting in the church. If anything is going on in the earth, it's, it, it's because the church allowed it to. My God. The world is peripheral to the church. It's the world is looking to the church. But when they looked into the church, they saw the same thing they were seeing. They saw the same thing going on in their house. Mm -hmm. They looked into the church and they saw religion. They looked into the church and they saw a whole lot of, uh, of, of, of religious activity. Right. Mm -hmm. They didn't see the glorious church. Mm -hmm. They didn't see God. They didn't see the Spirit. They didn't see the Holy Ghost moving. My God. The church is Christ's body mm -hmm. in which he speaks and acts by which he feels everything here with his presence. They looked into the church and they didn't see his presence. Mm -hmm. My God, man. Mm -hmm. So what is happening, Pastor? We said on Sunday, we must begin to what? We got to what? Rethink church. <laughs> we got to rethink what this day we call church, my God. And so that's been our focus for 2022 is we must have a paradigm shift and, and, and rethink this thing we call church. We must shift from the old religious paradigm into the paradigm of the new creation. All right, now. Again, what is, when is a paradigm shift a shift required? When, 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 when that old paradigm that we were in, we realize it doesn't work. And you got to do it in the shift. My God, the worst thing you can do is realize you're in a paradigm that doesn't work and don't, don't, don't desire to shift out of it. My God. Once, once, my God. once you realize the paradigm doesn't work, you got to be willing to allow the Holy Spirit to shift you into what's going on now. My God, my God. That's when the paradigm shift is needed. All right, let me keep on riding. He said the church has to look different from the world. He said we've been in just as many lines and just as many, my God, everything the world is doing, we got to come on out of there, bless God. We got to begin living like the church as a new creation. It's 1 Corinthians 10 and 32. I'm telling you the, the the image of the church is off. As we've been sharing, the identity of the church is off. He said, give not offense neither to the Jews nor to the Gentile nor to the church of God. These are the three groups in the earth right now. The Jews, the Gentiles, or the nations. So you got the Jews, the nations, and the church of God. We are the church of God. We are the church, my God. We are the church. So we ask the question, diagram 1A, why do we go to church? Well, what is the church? Why do we come together? What is this about, bless God? Why do we go to church? You know what I mean? Don't worry about it. Just keep on. Diagram 1A. Why do we go to church? Bless you, Lord. And the purpose of the church, we saw that at Acts 16, verse 5. He says the church is what? Strengthened in the faith. We come to get what? Established in the faith of yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. We don't come here for all this other stuff that's going on. That's right. We don't we gotta understand why we come to church. We come to church to really find out our identity. My God. And again, we said the church has become motivational and political and social and, and, and ethical and all these different things. But my God, we forgot who we really are. The church is the pillar and ground of the truth. I don't come here to all the other stuff. I come here to hear the truth of the gospel. My God. Yes, Lord. That's why we come here. And we said some of these messages, he, Paul said, why would you in, in, endeavor to, to return to the weak and beggarly elements? Just weak and beggarly. <laughs> 
this week. And we said these messages will keep you what? Weak. They'll keep you what? Badly. My God. And that's what these messages are designed to do. Because when you put weight on these messages that these that they're teaching, it is not going to work. Right. It don't produce power. Right. My God. Paul said, if I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. The gospel is the power of God. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, absolutely. Yes. So, 2 Corinthians 4, verse 1. So, if the gospel is the power of God, what is Satan, what does he desire to do? Keep people from seeing the gospel. Mm -hmm. He says, therefore, sin, we have this ministry. As we have received mercy, if we fail not, Let's go. <laughs> we have renounced the hidden things with dishonesty, not walking in craftiness. Hear it. Nor handle the word of God deceitfully. Don't handle, don't handle the word deceitfully. Don't go into the word and, and try to find a catchy message or a catchy slogan. No, preach the gospel. Yeah. Preach it exactly like it is. It's good. It's the power of God. Yes. Don't be in there playing around with the word and and, and God saying, you, I got a word for you, but you got to get in this line and give me $50 right, right. for you to get the word. No, you handle the word deceitfully. Yeah, right. Preach the gospel. Feed God's people the word. Yeah, right. But by manifestation is the truth, committing ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be here, it's here to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Why? Lest the light, lest the light of the glorious gospel. Mm -hmm. The gospel is glorious. Mm -hmm. If this thing, is, when this thing is taught and read and studied right, it is glorious. Mm -hmm. What do you mean it's glorious, preacher? When you're reading things like he has raised us up together to sit with him in heaven yeah. and place yeah. him. That's yeah. glorious, yeah. man. Yeah. When he's talking about you lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. That's glorious. When he's telling you you can say a thing and see that thing manifest, that's glorious. Yes. Amen. Amen. Whew. My Lord, man. He telling you you can drink a deadly thing and it won't even hurt you, man. Come on, man. That's glorious, man. I'm a blind eyes open, the lame walking, deaf ears hearing. My God, the gospel is glorious. My God, this thing is glorious. Yes. Spread the gospel. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Spread the keys, spread the power of the shed. Spread the gospel. It's, it's the power of God. I don't know who want to teach everything but the power of God. I don't. Preach the gospel. Yes, yes. Let the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. Who is the image of God should shine on the devil. Because the gospel is so glorious. He's trying to do all he can to keep people from what? Seeing it. Yeah. He don't want people to understand what this gospel represents yeah. and what this gospel is saying to him. My Lord. Mm -hmm. The gospel is glorious, man. Ephesians 5, verse 22. So let's keep right. The gospel is glorious. Now, <laughs> he said, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord, all right? For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. Now, again, he keeps parallel the, 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 the relationship between him and the church and the, and the husband and the wife. Mm -hmm. Even as Christ is the head of the church and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be so uh, to their own husbands in everything. Mm -hmm. All right? Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it. Hear it, sanctify and cleanse it. Good God. With the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself. Hear it, a glorious church. Yeah. Yeah. Christ didn't die for an average church. Jesus didn't do all he did for a mediocre church. He didn't do all he did for people not to be hungry. My God! He didn't do all he did. He said, I want a glad desire, a glorious church. No one wants an average wife. No. 
or Aaron's husband. Right. You want the best. Right. And we tied together forever. And we tied together to not do us part. You want the best of things. Yes, that's right. You want a glorious spouse. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> not have a spot or wrinkle or any such thing. But that it should be holy and without blemish. Mm -hmm. No one desires an average spouse. No. no one gets married and says, I know you're average, but I'll take you. No one, no one goes into marriage with no. that mindset. No. No. <laughs> oh, help us, Lord. You want a glorious spouse. Mm -hmm. Everything Jesus did was for him to have a glorious wife, a glorious church. Yes. Why? Because your spouse represents you. Mm. 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 Every, I remember, especially black and high school stuff, everywhere you go, they go buck girl, they go buck girl, that's buck girl, that's buck girl, that's buck girl, and she, that's, that's, that's buck girl, that's buck girl. What was it saying? She represents buck. <laughs> there's buck girl, there's buck girl. <laughs> Likewise, yeah. everywhere we go, we represent Christ. Mm -hmm. That's Christ girl. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's, that's Christ girl. That's Christ boy. That's that's Christ. He's he's a Christian. He's a Christian. Tell him, tell him, people are looking for a glorious church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My God, give me the Passion Translation, verse twenty-seven. All that Christ does in us is designed to make us a mature church for His pleasure. Mm. Until we become a source of praise to him. Glorious and radiant. Yeah. My God. What is he looking for? A church. He said, I'll sacrifice myself for a body who are what? Glorious and radiant. Yeah. Beautiful and holy. Without fault or flaw. He doesn't want an average church. No. He wants a glorious and radiant church. He wants an on fire church. Yeah. He wants a church that loves him. Yeah. He wants a church that lay hands on the sick. Yeah. He wants a church that really believes the gospel. Yeah. My God, man. Yeah. He don't want no average church. No. Mm -hmm. That's right. He don't want a church to put everything else before him. Mm -hmm. you, don't want no, you don't want no spouse like that. I can tell you, go back to King James. He keeps parallel the, the, the spouse, the husband, and the wife relationship with the relationship between Christ and the church. You don't want a spouse to put everything else before you and when we find time, I might spend some time with you. No. I want somebody that want me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I mean to love their wives and their own bodies. He that loves his wife, loves himself. This, that, that thing right there, man. I'm going to tell you something about this marriage thing. Real talk.
my wife are to be what? One flesh. Mm -hmm. And when I love her, I'm loving myself. Mm -hmm. What does Paul say? <laughs> this is a great mystery. <laughs> <laughs> This is a great mystery. Oh my God. But I speak concerning Christ and the church. Because if I understand this properly, I should be focused on me and her needs. And she should be focused on me and my needs. Because we are a covenant. Everything I need, y'all gotta come on with me now. Mm -hmm. Because she's my wife, everything I need is in her. Mm -hmm. I don't have to go outside of my marriage to get anything I need because what I need is in her. All right. All right. Likewise, church, everything we need is in Christ. Yeah. I don't have to go to the world to get anything from them because what I need is in him. My God, man. If I need healing, it's in my lover. My God. If I need provision, it's in my lover. If I need some peace, it's in him. It's all in him. He said, this is a great mystery. That when I say, Jesus, be my Lord, be my Savior, we enter into covenant and we too became one. My God. Anything I'm going through, he going through. Why? Because we're joined up together. My God. I don't know if we understand how much God loves us. He loves us. We are joined together. Anything you're going through, my God, he said he's going through. This is a great mystery. <laughs> oh, Lord. My God, my God. Let me see, what verse was that? So he said, I think it's, uh, yeah. He said, husband love, uh, verse 25, husband love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church. He gave himself for it. Why? That he may sanctify you. Sanctify. We are sanctified. <laughs> we are sanctified. Now, keep, you understand? Again, they're parallel between the husband and wife. Me and my wife are sanctified. What does sanctified mean? We are separated. We are set apart. We are appointed for divine service. To consecrate or make holy unto the Lord. So what does it mean to be sanctified? To be sanctified means me and my wife, when we said I do, we are now consecrated to one another. Mm -hmm. We have now, hear it, we are now set apart. Mm -hmm. We are now joined together. Right. We are now off limits to anything else, my God. Now you, now, now you can show up with all the hips, the lips, and the dips. Mm -hmm. But this ring says I'm sanctified. My God. <sighs> this ring says I'm set apart. This ring says I'm now cut off from anything else. Right, right, right. Right. Mm -hmm. We are sanctified in Christ. In Christ. When you say Jesus be my Lord, you are now cut off from the world. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. I'm now His. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh Lord. Amen. First Corinthians. I, I do want to read this, Lord. Mm. Yeah, First Corinthians seven verse twelve. We are now one. Mm. When you say I do. It's not I do until you mess up. Mm -hmm. That's why you won't just want to say I do all willy nilly. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but watch this what he says here. And I, and I, and I, and I, maybe, maybe, maybe it's looking at maybe it's just me, but I want us to really comprehend marriage and comprehend Christ in the church. He said, but to the rest speak I, not the 
Lord. He said, if any brother has a wife that believeth not, and she be pleased and dwell with him, let him not put her away. And the woman which has a husband that believeth not, and if he be pleased to dwell with her, let him not leave him. Watch this. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. And the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Also were your children unclean, but now are they what? They are holy. Mm -hmm. What? Wait a minute. Give me the amplifier of that. Now y'all, now, now y'all gotta just, just, just stay with me. I put my glasses on for that. <laughs> for the unbelieving husband is set apart Separated, withdrawn from heathen contamination, and affiliated with the Christian people by union with his consecrated, set apart wife. That means because you and your spouse, if you have an unbelieving spouse, are one, they may not be saved, maybe unbelieving. But they are still experiencing the fruits of covenant with God because of you. My yes. God. Oh, yeah. right. yeah. They're getting healed because of you. Yeah. They're getting blessed because of you. My God, doors are being opened because of you. My God, they, they, their lives are being protected just because of you. Yeah. They are experiencing the fruit of having a set-apart spouse. Yeah. My God, man. Because yeah. God says, because you are in covenant with me, I'm going to protect your spouse also. Uh -huh. So things are going on in their life. <laughs> they don't even know why these things keep happening. And it only happens because what? You are set apart. And because you are set apart, God sees the spouse sanctified also. My God. I don't know if we understand this, this covenant stuff, man. I think we, I think, I, 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 we gotta understand that how God sees covenant. That because we're one. In marriage, God is blessing your spouse, healing and protecting your spouse, and they don't even have a relationship with them. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. My God, man. That's the power of marriage. This is the power of covenant. This is the power of being here in Christ, yeah. being a part of the church. You're in there praying in the Holy Ghost, and your spouse don't know what you're doing. My God, and they wonder why well, I get this promotion. My God, God did it because of the sanctified spouse. John 17 verse 15, and now He's telling us that we are sanctified in Christ. I'm receiving all of my benefits because of my spouse. My God, I, I help us hear the Holy Ghost. Hear it, hear it in the natural. Your spouse is receiving healing and blessing and promotions and favor all because you're sanctified. In Christ Jesus, I'm receiving healing and blessings, promotions and favor all because Christ is sanctified. My God, man. connected to him that sanctified himself. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sanctified in him. I'm in him, bless God. Yes, but pastor, see here, here's the thing. We made sake, we made being sanctified about the skirt and the, and you ain't going to the movies and you ain't ain't watching this and you can't do this and you can't play this. You can't no 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 that's not what sanctification is. I'm set apart for him. Yeah. I'm consecrated to him because he sanctified himself for me. And because I'm in him. I'm sanctified. Mm -hmm. I'm experiencing the fruit of this covenant. Everything I have is because of Christ. Right. Everything we receive is because of him. That's right. You're not healed because you read your scripture. Mm -hmm. You're not healed because you read your healing scriptures. You're not blessed because of all the seeds you give. All, this, all these benefits of this sanctification come because of Christ sanctified himself. Yes, yes. Absolutely. I'm sanctified. Mm -hmm. I'm in covenant with him. Yes. And now, hear this. Uh, uh, give me Amplified verse 16. He says what? They are not of the world. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Worldly. Belonging mm -hmm. to the world. Just as, hear it, I am not of the world. Sanctify them, purify, consecrate, separate them for yourself. Make them holy by the truth. Your word is true. Hear it. Once I said, Jesus be my Lord, mm -hmm. I sanctified myself unto him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now he's mine and I'm his. Mm -hmm. I no longer belong to the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm no longer seeking the world for anything. My God. Everything I now need is in my love. My yes. God. Yes. I belong to him now. <laughs> oh my God. What man wants his wife seeking another man for anything? Right. No. We're not wired that way. No. You need something, you come to your man. My wife, you need something, you come to your Lord. You come to me. You need provisions, you come to me. You need healing, you come to me. Right. You need peace, you come to me. You are you now belong to me, baby. Yes. Mm. I'm sanctified. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm taken. And that's the word right there. I say, hey, man. I'm taken. I'm in a relationship. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. I belong to him now. Right. I don't longer belong to the world. Galatians 6 14. I'm caught up. Oh, they, what do y'all people what they say? Cuffed. cuffed. <laughs> I'm cuffed now. <laughs> I'm cuffed. I'm taken. I'm in a committed relationship. <laughs> and that's what's going on with the church now. We went, we went cuffed to him now. I'm in a relationship with him now. What Paul says, but God forbid. That I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Paul said, the only thing I can glory in is the cross. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By whom the world is crucified unto me. My God. And I unto the world. What the Paul says? I, have no, I don't have no glory save in the cross. Now the world has been cut off from me and I'm cut off from the world. Mm -hmm. If I need anything, I go to Jesus. My God, man. Yeah. That's right. The church. The body of Christ. We must understand that we now have our source. We now have our father back. We now have our relationship back. And we are now to be living what? Sanctified. And whatever we need, we go to him. That's right. Crucified. The world has been crucified under me. And I unto the world. Cut off from them. My God, man. Cut off. I'm sanctified in Christ now. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 13, verse 12. Uh, all everything I need is in him. Huh? Again, as we start off, the enemy will try to deceive you to think of every, that you need something outside of Christ. No, everything in him we live and move and have our being. Yes, and everything right. we need is in him. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Wherefore, Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffer without the gate. What did Jesus do? He sanctified the people. Amplified of that. Amplified says. Therefore.
Therefore, Jesus also suffered and died outside the city's gate in order that he might purify and consecrate the people through the shedding of his own blood. Watch this. And set them apart as holy here for God. When you are in the church, you have been set apart as holy for God. This is not something you do on Sunday morning. This is not, I mean, we, don't, we don't play church or go to church or, or then the rest of the week. You go to church on Sunday, but then the rest of the week you're not set apart no more. No. My life is supposed to represent someone that is set apart as holy to God. I belong to God. I'm set apart for him. Hmm? I belong to him now. I know someone is 2, 2, 2, 30 in the morning. He wants to talk. Mm -hmm. And he expects you to get up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he expects you to wake up. He wants to talk. Why? Because I'm separated under him. I belong to him now. Hmm? I'm not something I want to say to you. Man, child, help us a little. We don't belong to ourselves. We're spending too much time for ourselves. Doing things for ourselves. Not knowing now, I've been set apart for him now. Right. When I say, when you say, Jesus be my Lord, my Savior, now I belong to him now. What is this stuff that, that when I find time, I give it to you, Lord? Yeah. We put everything in front of him. And that, wait, 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 wait a minute, you set apart for me now. Right. What is going on? Jesus Christ once and for all. We, we are sanctified once and for all. I'm already sanctified. Mm -hmm. Once mm -hmm. and for all by his offering. Yeah. We drop down to verse 12. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, he sat down on the right hand of God. From henceforth respect until his enemies made his footstool. For by one offering he has perfected forever them that are what? Sanctified. You are sanctified. Hebrews 2 verse 10. 
You have been perfected forever. You are belonging to the Lord. When he tell you, my God, stand up and speak. They all prophesy. You stand up, speak and prophesy. When he tell you to lay hands on that person that's sick, you go lay hands on the person that's sick. Why? Because you are set apart in the hell. And this is how he's going to manifest his glory. Yeah. yeah that's right. Who else is he going to use? He wants to use his body. Yes. He wants to use his church. But the church has become so distracted. What happens when the body is distracted? My mm -hmm. God. I hear that Holy Ghost. What happens when the body is asleep? Mm -hmm. Have you ever been riding for a long time and your foot go to sleep? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And you go to try to press down on that thing, and my God, my God, if you ain't careful, you hit the ground. Yeah. Why? Because part of my body is asleep. And so because of that one part that's not functioning properly, the rest of the body has to compensate for it. Yeah. Wake up, church. Mm -hmm. For became him from whom are all things and by whom are all things, and bringing many sons unto glory. Happy Lord, I'm trying to, okay, okay, okay. Well, what, 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 what did Jesus do? He brought many sons back to glory. I'm going to sanctify them, Lord, and I'm going to bring them where? Back to glory. My God, I want them once again living and walking and behaving in the glory. My God. wants the glory in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. He wants the glory at work. He wants the glory at the grocery store. Because wherever you are, you are a part of the glory. My God, you are a part of the glorious church. My God, people are looking for answers, and the answer is in us. Mm -hmm. What did he do? He brought many sons to glory. To me, the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering, my God. Hear it for both he that sanctified, O Jesus, and they who are sanctified, the church, are all of one. Yeah. For which cause he is not ashamed to call us his brothers. Mm -hmm. He that sanctified, Jesus, mm -hmm. and they that have been sanctified, us. We're all of one. Mm -hmm. And we're all living and walking in this glory. Yeah. Shh. Mm. My God, man. First Corinthians 1, verse 2. Whew. We're called to live in this glory. Well, I just go to church for each other. I don't know where all this other stuff. Yeah, that's 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 our issue. We've been called to glory. So now we want motivational messages. And I understand that you've been called to glory. We're called to walk in the glory. Good God! Yeah. Ah, Jesus! Yeah. Unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus. That's us. Called to be saints. I'm a saint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With all that in every place, call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. We are sanctified mm -hmm. here in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Colossians 1. Why, Lord? Whew, my God, man. Why, Lord? Why are you sanctifying us? We didn't go there, but in Revelation, it says, he said, I looked and I saw a great multitude of those here redeemed them. Every tribe, tongue, people, every language, every kindred. My God, we got, the church got all kinds of colors of people in it. That's what we're trying to, we got to get beyond just black. We got to get beyond just white. We got to understand that we're all one in Christ Jesus. My God. Yeah. Amen. Why? Why, preacher? 
Why he sanctify us? Wherefore, I get that Why you sanctify us? Just so we don't go to hell? Hear it. Wherefore, I am made a minister. According to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Even the mystery which has been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, the sanctified ones. Why sanctify us? To whom God will make known what is the riches of the glory, my God, of this mystery among the Gentiles. What is it? Which is Christ in you. The hope of glory. Why would he sanctify us? Why would he pick us? Why would he choose us? He said, I'm going to come and dwell on the inside of you. And you work with me and I'm going to manifest glory. Your life. Yes. You're going to be a part of the glorious church. My body. Christ is in you. The hope of glory. Christ is in you. The hope of glory. He is expecting glory from our lives. Say it again, preacher. He is expecting glory from our lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amplify verse 27, please. Whew. My God. To whom God was pleased to make known how great for the Gentiles are the riches of the glory. Are the riches of the glory. My God. The riches of the glory of this mystery. Which is Christ within. And among you. The hope of realizing the glory. What? Well, why would he sanctify us? Because I want to be able to come on the inside of you. And, I, and my expectation is that you will realize the glory. Yes. My yes. God. When I tell you to prophesy, you prophesy. When I tell you to give, you give. When I tell you, my God, to raise them up, you raise them up. The hope of realizing the glory. My God. <laughs> ah! Give me the message translation, verse 27. Ooh, God is expecting glory from your life. God wanted everyone, yes. not just the Jews. To know this rich and glorious secret inside and out. Good God. He wants us to know this secret what? Inside and out. Regardless of their background. Regardless of their religious standing. The mystery in a nutshell is just this. Christ in you. Therefore you can look forward to sharing in God's glory. Good. It's that simple. Yes. This is the substance of our message. That God
walk in the glory with me. Oh my God. Come walk in the glory with me. Yes, yes. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's what this is about. <laughs> that's as that's, that's, that's message or at least you said. This is the substance of our message. Mm. God desires a people who are walking in glory. Mm -hmm. yeah. A glorious church. Mm. This is the mystery that's been hidden from the beginning. The eye on people that were just walking in the glory. Mm. In the early church, they were sinning. The early church was sinning. What was they seeing? They saw the shadow of Peter. When we saw Peter walking out of the street, and just his shadow was causing people to be healed. Why? He was walking in the glory. My God, man. His shadow. Now he touched them. It was a shadow. And called people to be healed. They said that it was it was handkerchiefs and aprons that, that touched their body that were given to the people and it was being healed. We saw Jesus, my God, said he healed the whole city. Good God, Lord. It says he healed all of them. What were they doing? They was walking in the glory. And now we can't even get people to read the Bibles anymore. Look, pray. I'm out there. I ain't got no prayer line. What about what? I ain't got no church. I'm what? But you're my God. We got to walk in the glory, man. Second Timothy 2, verse 21. He's looking for people that were walking in court with him. He says, if any man purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor. Hear it. Sanctify. Hear it. Meet for the master's use and prepare it unto every good work. My God, man. We are sanctified for the master's Use. You're not sanctified because you don't wear no makeup. You don't wear you wear stockings everywhere you go. Hey, thank God you wear where your stockings you right out of here, right? <laughs> I gotta miss that. Do your thing. Do your thing. I just said that'll make you sanctified. <laughs> I'm sanctified because I'm in Christ. And because I'm in Christ, I am meat for the master's use. When he tell you at 3 o'clock, get up and pray for sister so-and-so. You get up and pray for sister so-and-so. When he tell you to do this, you do it. Why? I'm here for him. Yes. <laughs> I'm here for him. I'll be for his use. And I'm prepared for every good work. Yes. My God, man. I'm prepared for you, Lord. Whatever you need from me. Mm -hmm. Whatever you need from me. God, I know everything I need is in you, Lord. Right. And you saying everything I need is in you, Raymond. I need you. I need you to do this for me. Can you do this? Will you do this for me? Hmm? Say this to her. Well, I don't know her, Lord. No, you just say what I tell you to say. You're me for my use. You're sanctified for me. You're mine. You belong to me now. Yeah. First Peter 2, and I'm finished. First Peter 2, verse 9. Oh, yeah. Walk in the glory. The glorious church are those who know they are sanctified for the master's use. That's the glorious church. Who's the glorious church? Those who, who can hear God's voice and carry out what they tell them to do. But you are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. A peculiar people. <laughs> Matter of fact, I, I think I think bring that back. I was at Dollar General. I like Dollar General. It's one of my favorite stories. I, just, I like Dollar General. But anyway, I was at Dollar General. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
And I was about to check out. Then I saw this lady in front of me. She ain't had nothing. But once she got up to the cash register, she reached across and grabbed the young lady's hand and started praying for her. Mm -hmm. I said, I know that's right, sister. Mm -hmm. yeah. So by the time she, just, she, she prayed for her in love, and then I got up there, <clears throat> she said, the, the Lord must have revealed to her I've been going through a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's God. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's God. And that's when you meet for the master's use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the master said, pray for that girl. And that woman in front of me, she, did, she prayed for it and went on about her business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, to some, you're peculiar people. Strange. Peculiar is strange. But to that young lady that got prayed for, she could be a witness yeah. that that was God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My God. Mm -hmm. What are we to do? That you should show forth the praises of him who's called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, my God. Give me the amplifier of that, verse 9. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a dedicated nation, God's own purchased special people. You are sanctified to God. Now you are dedicated to him. You are his own special, purchased people that you might set forth the wonderful deeds, and watch this, and display the virtues and perfections of him. Mm -hmm. Remember, your spouse represents you. Mm -hmm. The church represents Christ. We are called to display the virtues and perfections of him who calls you out of darkness into the marvelous light. They should be able to see you must be saved. You must be in him. Why? Because you are showing forth his perfections. Mm. Message translation, we finished. Message translation says, verse 9. But you are the ones. My God, man. We're the church, man. Mm -hmm. You are the ones. Chosen by God. Chosen for the high calling of priestly work. Chosen to be a holy people. God's instruments to do his work. Speak out for him. To tell others of the night and day difference he made for you. Good God. <laughs> it should be pure me on the top of Let me tell you what he did for me, girl. Let me tell you what he did in my life. Let me tell you what difference he has made since I've become in him. We are the ones. <laughs> we are the glorious church. We are the ecclesia. We are the called out ones. We are the chosen ones. Sent forth to manifest his glory in the earth. And when your friends ask you, what has happened to you? Let me show you about the night and day difference he has made in my life. Mm -hmm. You don't act the same. <laughs> oh, I'm taking them. <laughs> I'm married now. Girl, who are you married to? I'm in a relationship with Christ. Yeah. Let me tell you about the night and day difference living with him and walking in him and, and praying in the spirit and reading my word. Let me tell you the difference it has made in my life. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm the fool no more, girl. I know if somebody would have did it. You back in the day, you would have cussed him out. Let me tell you about the night and day difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm walking in his glory now. Yeah. I'm walking in his love yeah. now. Whew. What is this thing called the church? We are the called out ones. Yeah. We are the sanctified ones. Mm -hmm. Christ in us. Called to share in God's glory. And whether you know it or not, this earth this world is about to be shaken even more. It's time for the church to rise up yeah, yeah. and be the manifest and manifest God's glory. Mm. Mm. Oh, we love you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Bless you, Father. 
Let me tell you something. You're not saved tonight. Hey, don't you want to be one of the ones? <laughs> Girl, my, my brother, if you only knew. You want to be one of these ones. And this one of these ones, let me tell you something about the glory of this. It's not just in the earth. It says throughout all eternity, they will still be pointing and saying, they're the one of the ones. He's a part of the church. He won't hear. He's one of the ones that walks in God's glory. All of the all creation is growing and travailing, waiting for the manifestation of the sons yes, of God. Yes, yes. Every let's say something. All this stuff going on in the earth. It's because we, we, we were without the glory. Coronavirus is nothing compared to the glory. Everybody looking for the glory. Where's the glory? We was meant, we were wired to walk and live in the glory. So the struggle, the, the depression, the suicide, the, 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 all of this is because we need the glory. My God.
want you to manifest glory. Bless you, Father. But we rejoice you tonight. Yes. You told yes. hell, no. <laughs> I'm walking with God. Bless God. Hey, God bless you. Thank you for joining us at all times. Hey, we hey, we thank you for praying and prayer for us. As we always do, we encourage you to go get your good Bible, man. Go you know, get your good Bible app, my God. And, and so you can read your new covenant. Read, learn, and find out who you are now as a sanctified one. You are now a saint, Pastor. I just spoke the blank an hour ago. You're a saint, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I ain't no saint. Yes, y'all. You are a saint. You are sanctified. You are a saint. <laughs> And ask the Lord to lead you to a good church home so you can grow and get planted and just, my God, flourish in the courts of our God and find out all, man, all, all about this new covenant that God has allowed you to enter into. Bless God. Amen. Amen. At this time, we give you the opportunity to give. If you desire to give, the cash out information will be on the screen. We're going to give you a few moments to do that. After which, we'll come back. We're going to close out with prayer. Amen. 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 Bless you, Lord. <laughs> Oh, bless you, Lord.
hey, join in live, bless God. If you're in the area, hey, we're in person also, and we'll love to see you. Hey, hey, God is good, man. Yes. Hey, we are the church. We are the sanctified. So we are the ones, bless God. And I'm happy to be in the number, bless God. Hey, God bless you. Hey, again, thank you for joining us. Until we meet again, man, say, the favor of God is all on you. Amen. We love you, bless God. Amen. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Father.